Yeah, 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 Big Baby JTV. Like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, bro. Let's talk about it. Yes, we love it. We love it. We love it. Eric Holder, the dude who shot and killed Nipsey Hussle in 2019 in broad daylight like the dummy that he is, was found guilty, right? Guilty of murder in the first degree. Now, I'm reading this off TMZ. Let me just get to it. The jury returned the guilty verdict in the L.A. Count courtroom Wednesday. About three weeks after the trial began, he was found guilty of first-degree murder of Killer Nipsey. Holder shot two other people during the murder. He was found guilty of two counts of attempted voluntary manslaughter, guilty of two counts of assault with a firearm, and guilty of possession of a firearm by a felon. He was found not guilty of premeditated attempted murder. The details of a brutal murder were outlined early in the trial. Deputy, de 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 Deputy District Attorney John McKenney told the jury holder kick Nipsey in the head after filling his body with lead, calling it proof the attack was personal. Okay, man. Yep, let's get down to it, man. This guy's a murderer. He's going to jail, right? But is this like a real solution, right? Now, for me, I say if you're successful as a black man or even as any type of man who comes from the ghetto, who comes from poverty, leave right away. Leave, leave right away. And the thing about Nipsey, as wise, as strong, as great as this man was, he tried to do too much good. In a sense, he tried to change and revolutionize his community. And I'm not going to get too conspiratorial in my conspiracy theory bag, but isn't it funny how when a strong black man tries to do something great for his own society, he ends up getting shot and killed hmm? by his own people? Malcolm X, huh? Martin Luther King, huh? Tupac, Biggie. See, what I'm trying to say here, I'm not saying that Nipsey Hussle is any of those men, but I'm saying that he's another guy who got killed in his own hood, trying to change the hood, trying to uplift the hood by his own kind, meaning a fellow gang member, meaning a fellow person in the neighborhood, snitch or not. Now, the lawyers of Eric Holder, what they were trying to do, they were trying to make it seem like this was an involuntary manslaughter, meaning that Nipsey had pissed off Eric Holder so much that dude had an emotional reaction. And you know what? If he was to get convicted of that, right? If he was to get charged by that and actually that went through, he would spend about 10 years in jail. Now this dude is going to spend pretty much his life in prison. And trust me, let me say it like this. He's going to get killed in prison, right? He's in protective custody, but last week he had a swollen ass face because he had been beaten up in jail. And let me tell y'all something, man. There is no limit on get back. No time limit on get back. No time limit on revenge. Go on to Google. Google Whitey Bulger, okay? This is a, he used to be a former gang leader uh, in uh, Boston, but he was also a snitch, right? So he would basically rat out his competition and help the feds. Eventually, he was the most wanted man in America. And then he, quote unquote, disappeared, meaning he ran away from the feds. They found him 20 years later at 80 years old. They finally convicted him, took him to jail. And within less than a year of him being in jail as an 80 year old man, he was killed. He was killed in prison. Even if he was in protective custody, he was killed in prison. Why? Because the people that he ratted on had kids, have friends, have all these things. And let me tell y'all something, man. Nipsey Hussle was loved and respected. Loved and respected. Eric Holder, I predict, will die in jail. He's going to get killed in jail. He should pray that he gets solitary confinement because... Even in his trial, he got beat the hell up. Even in protective custody, PC, he got beat the hell His face is swollen, bro. But let me tell you something, man. Revenge is a MFA. So y'all watch out, man. I'm very happy that Nipsey's family got some kind of resolution. F this dude, Eric Holder. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace. And uh, let's have let's have more of these, man. Let's have more stories, more positive stories of where true justice is getting served 
to these imbeciles, these criminals, these pieces of trash that we need to throw out of the community. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Big Baby J TV, like, comment, sub, I'm out.